Let's unbox the glorious Model O2 Pro and Model O2 Pro 4K 8kHz edition. Taking a look at the box, you can see you've got a picture of the mouse on the front here. You've got a little bit of information about the weight, the name, and flipping it over on the back, you've got a nice infographic with another picture of the mouse telling you a little bit of information about all the different features and those tech specs. And there's the mouse on top. We then have the wireless dongle and you've got this extender portion and then also the individual USB. Lifting this off, we find the very nice lightweight braided cable and that's finished in black to match the colour of the mouse. There's this little glorious leaflet, so you have a glorious logo on the front. On the back there, it just tells you a little bit about the glorious brand. And on the inside, it tells you where you can find their website, which has the quick start guide, product support, downloads, and warranty details. Don't eat this. We've then got a glorious sticker. I am a fan of stickers. I mean, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but yeah, it's quite nice with the Glorious logo on there. This here is a little QR code. So it says you can register your product to unlock one extra year of warranty for free. So that's always nice to know. And finally, we have this here. This looks to be a little booklet. This is the Glorious Pro quick start guide. So it tells you a little bit of information about the mouse, how to set it up, the battery life, how you can reset it, and of course, support and warranty information as well. It looks like you get a two year limited manufacturer warranty. Moving on to the Model O2 Pro 4K 8 kilohertz edition. We once again have a nice picture of the mouse on the front of the box. You've got the weight, and now you have this shiny holographic kind of logo that tells you this is the 4K 8K edition. Flipping it over, we have a nice picture of the mouse and then an infographic telling you about all the different tech specs. That was a bit more satisfying that time. So there is the mouse itself. Nice and secure in this packaging. Now this is a little bit different. We have the glorious 4K dongle. As you can see, it has the glorious logo and then this 4K symbol, just to tell you that it is the higher polling rate version. Nice little grippy rubber base as well. I think this is made to go on top of your desk so it gives you a little bit of a better signal. It looks like you'd maybe plug the charging cable, uh, that nice braided cable in the end there, and then that's how you get the signal to your mouse. That's the braided cable that I just mentioned previously. It's the exact same as the other model, black braided, nice and lightweight. This is a little bit more important on the eight kilohertz version, because if you do want to get the maximum polling rate, you will actually have to plug it in and use it as a wired mouse. We've got this little glorious booklet once again, tells you a little bit about the company, where to find their website. Glorious sticker where you can register to get your extended warranty. Definitely do not eat. And then finally, the quick start guide. Looks to be the same as the other edition. So here we have the Model O2 Pro, regular version and that 8K version. This is a ambidextrous mouse. So as you can see, it's symmetrical on either side. It's obviously gonna be perfect whether you are a right-handed user or 
a left-handed user, you can use it in both hands, which is nice to know. You do have these buttons here. If you're right-handed, you can reach those nice and easily with your thumb. The overall shape is really nice. I think that's gonna suit all different grip styles. So whether you're palm grip, fingertip grip, or claw grip, I have sort of like small to medium hands, I'd say, and this mouse does fit me perfectly. I actually use a bright blue Model O Pro, and I think it's one of the most comfortable gaming mice I've ever used. So this design is a real win from me. I also like the texture of this mouse. So Glorious, in the past, to make their mice lightweight, they've gone for kind of that like cheese grater, perforated design. This mouse does have a nice solid body. So even though it's still very lightweight, they've not had to sacrifice the actual overall style and feel of the mouse. You can see that it has this uh, slightly textured finish to it. So it's not really a matte or gloss coating. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. I really like it. You do actually have quite a lot of grip due to this texture. Moving on to another important feature, which is of course the sensor and the performance. The Model O2 Pro, if we flip it over, you can see that it uses a BAMF 2.0 sensor from Glorious. So this is a 26K CPI 650 IPS sensor. It's brilliant. You're gonna get pixel perfect tracking with the sensor and it does feature on both editions of the mouse. The main difference between them when it comes to performance is of course the polling rate. So polling rate is how often your mouse sends a signal to your computer, how often it pings that signal across. Like most gaming mice, the Model O2 Pro has a 1000 kilohertz polling rate. So a thousand times a millisecond, I think that is. So really quite fast, good for most tasks. If you want that competitive advantage, this one pings 8,000 times, so eight kilohertz sensor. So obviously it's sending a signal much more frequently to your computer, and that means it's gonna be much more responsive at registering your inputs. Games like Valorant and Warzone 2 already take advantage of this. They've implemented that higher polling rate. So that is gonna give you a real competitive advantage if you're playing those fast paced FPS titles. Another important performance feature is of course the actual click itself, the switches on the mouse. And Glorious has opted to use the optical mechanical switches. So you get that nice satisfying mechanical click but you also have the benefit of the optical technology. So that means they are much faster, they're much more responsive, and they also have a longer lifespan than your traditional physical contacts. Because they are wireless, battery life is clearly very important. With this particular mouse, you get up to 80 hours, which I think is really good. That's like four to five days. Even if you forget to turn it off overnight, uh, you're still gonna get a lot of use out of this mouse before you need to charge it up. And one of the good things when you do happen to need to charge it, you've got this really nice cable, which kind of slots in here and it's nice and secure. And also it has fast charging as well. So if you wanna get it back to using it wireless again, it fast charges. So it's probably only gonna take a couple of hours. It's back up to maximum charge and then you can go back to gaming again. Uh, with the 8K version, you might have to use it wired all the time. You get four kilohertz uh, on the wireless dongle, but you do also have to plug it in if you wanna get up to that eight kilohertz polling rate. Also, because it is sending a signal much more frequently, you'll only get up to 35 hours of battery life if you opt to use it in the four kilohertz mode. Finally, I've spoken a lot about all the different features, the customizability, obviously you can change the CPI, you can change the polling rate, there's plenty of different options and features to change on this mouse. It's all controlled using the Glorious Core software, which as we saw in the booklet, you can download from their website. And that has been the Glorious Model O2 Pro mouse and the 4K 8K Hertz edition. Both really great ambidextrous mice and you can find them both on the Overclockers UK website.